welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to show you how I drew this parrot drawing using pencil colors and watercolor pen together to create a realistic parrot drawing so if you are new to my channel and like to see drawing tutorials every single week make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified on my future videos so the materials I'm using here for this tutorial are going to be what these watercolor pens by Miniso this is a Japanese brand I bought this in a very cheap price so I have used these watercolor pen to enhancing the color pencils as you can see in the video also I have used this Weber Kassel pencil which is quite affordable as compared to the polychromos pencil colors here is a color palette of better drawing that will help you to choose the correct color from the palette So let's get in the tutorial. I have left all of the material that I'm using throughout this tutorial in the description below. Also if you want to get the template of palette drawing, I've also left a link in the description below. Okay, I have already drew the contour drawing with the mechanical pencil. So first of all, I'm constructing an outline of palette drawing with an ordinary writing black pointer to get a nice outline. So I'll cover up these four parts with the black pointer outline. Uh, the head one, the chain and the knit and then last but not the least the last part which is a leather belt uh, on the ferret fur. After finishing the outlining step of a palette drawing, now it's time to use the color palette starting off the lighter tone to darker for making it more realistic. Here I'm using code 454461447 for making the head part of the palette. Now I'm using 457, uh, it's a dark green color and again 4544 and the black color for adding some depth in the parrot head okay now i'm using this white pencil by darwin to blend them all very nicely now i'm adding the detail around the eye of a parrot using black pencil by Faber castle so you can follow along with me. That's good.
the peak area I'm using black, brown and red colors so you can see the code of the colors on your screen. the watercolor pen to enhancing the blue area of the battered head. Now it's time to draw yellow fur. I'm drawing the fur of the parrot using yellow tones and orange tone. As you can see the code of the colors on your screen as well. For adding some depth underneath the fur drawing, you can use brown and red color to enhance the fur drawing more realistically. Using here these watercolor pens or enhancing the vibrancy of the fur drawing. I'm also showing the detailed example of how I drew the first so you can get a more clear idea of doing them more easily. So follow these steps as you can see on the screen as well. So let's cover the remaining area during the same procedure. For adding more vibrancy, I'm using hair watercolor pen. Hmm, let's jump into the silver chain drawing. I've already drew the outline using black pointer before. So now I'm using here 330 code as you can see on the screen by a fibre cutter pencil which is peachy in tone. We mostly use this color in drawing skin tones but here for the lightest part of the chain I'm using this color over here. For the shadowed darker area I'm using here black pencil by fibre cutter. Also, I'm using jelly roll pen for the highlighted purpose or you can say for adding shine in the silver chain. If you don't have a jelly roll pen, you can use the pen corrector as well in the replacement of jelly roll pen. Both works the same. As you can see the parrot heads look so flat so I'm adding here some highlights on the head area of the parrot. This will make a parrot look more realistic. When we talk about realistic drawing so we should more focus on the texture, the highlight, the depth etc. So that's how we can achieve the extraordinary results in drawing more realistically. I'm using the black pencil by Faber Castle with the jelly roll pen as well to creating the more depth uh, underneath the highlighted areas. And I also slow down the process of making this highlighted or the detail video so you can see the process of creating 
minor details in a slow process. Okay, let's come back to the chain area again. I'm using here the watercolor pen in a pink tone for adding more vibrancy in the chain. I have later used the peachy pink tone color by Faber Castle. So I'm using here watercolor pen for enhancing the vibrancy of the chain. So it will like look more realistic and more vibrant. Now this is the second part of drawing fur which is a bluish in color. So I'm using here code 453 for the outline of the fur as I have mentioned this on the screen as well. For adding the texture in fur I'm using the blue watercolor pen along with the pencil color. Now I'm using code 454 for the base color of fur and for adding depth I'm using 494 a black color by Paper Cousin Classic.
For adding textures, I'm using here a watercolor pen. You can use an ordinary marker as well in the replacement of watercolor pen. I have used hair 3 pencil color in each single fur and for blending them out I have used hair the Darwin white pencil which is very good for smooth blending of pencil colors. Also I am using hair the black pencil for adding more depth underneath every single fur for creating more depth and more finer finishing of the fur. Now I'm using jelly roll pen to create some highlights. Now it's time to add some color on the black leather costume. So I'm using here for the base of this leather costume a uh, code 457 uh, which is a dark green color rather than using a direct black color on it. So I'm also using a black color uh, for adding depth underneath the green color. Also, I have used the red color for the reflection of uh, the, these colors uh, to make it more natural. You can follow along with me and just because of uh, giving you a long and easy tutorial so you can learn from my tutorial step by step how to achieve the extraordinary result in uh, drawing realistically. Uh, using these simple techniques of coloring coloring with simple fabric castle pencil colors okay now here I'm using the watercolor pen uh, again uh, using the watercolor pen for the texture purpose and as I have done 
before on the other feather part of the feathers. So again using the same procedure.
Alright, last but not least part of our palette drawing is to draw the feet covered with the silver chain. So here I'm using the black pencil or you can use the pointer as well for the darker outline of the feet. I'm adding the details with this pencil uh, which is black pencil by Faber Castell. And also I'll add I'll add the depth with same color. Okay, now I'm using 330 code. It's, it's a peachy pink uh, color uh, for the chain's reflection. I'm using here black pointer for the minor or very sharp details. these feet with the black pencil uh, using very light strokes
to add some shadow with the black pencil. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. Hope you would love the experience. See you next week. Till then, take care. Bye.